Hey, what's happening, boy? This is your boy, JT Smooth, coming at you live, chilling at Los Domingos, y'all. It's a good night. We got a good show coming tonight. He just tripped and fell. You didn't see that shit. <laughs> Camera crew in the building. Hey, check it out, y'all. We got a good show. It's your boy, JT Smooth, on location. We got some of the hottest comics in the world. Bring up the first comic. Come up here, my homeboy from way back, Big Beef in the building. Come on, Big Beef. Tell them, man. Tell them what you got cracking and what you working on. Cracking. This is Big Beef. Your boy, Big Beef, is in the house. You're trying to put some beef in your life. Make sure you get it in right here in 2010, pimping. That's what we do. Now, Big Beef, tell them some of the stuff that you've already worked on, man, so they can know a little history on you. Man, your boy just got through doing Pachanga for like the last uh, four days. It was a great experience, live show. We put it down. I'm, you know what? Matter of fact, they still crying for some more beef. That's all I can tell you about it, Pippin. But I got another show coming up in Blythe, uh, Blythe, California. That's May 7th. Um, so we're going to be out there pitching watermelons and making it hot and putting some beef in their life. Now, I heard you got a couple of movies to your credits. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, Dance Flick. Dance Flick was my, was my first little... You know, uh, movie thing was cool, and I got something working right now on TV with a uh, big slice entertainment. We about to do some stuff. Where I'm be growing some uh, organic vegetables and uh, raising uh, organic animals. You know, because they putting all this steroids, and the best why the babies is having big booties and big titties at ten. <laughs> so we got to do something about it. All right, for sure. Okay. You, heard, you heard it here live, Friday night, Big Beef in the building. He'll be performing tonight, so you're going to hear him. He's going to be hot tonight, y'all. That's for right, sure. put some beef in your life, Pim. <laughs> Check it out, man. We're going to keep it cracking. That's my boy, Big Beef, from way back, man. We're doing big things. Next comic I'm going to bring up to you, man. This dude is the light-skinned brother in the high DZ, representing. Next, I'm going to bring up my boy from way back, Scotty Scotty Fig, what's cracking, man? Man, I am the white portion of the show tonight. I'm like the token. I'm the affirmative action. That's what I am on the show tonight. What's up, man? Good, man. How you been, man? I've been good, man. I've been on that road. I've been out here um, all the way from Pocatello, Idaho. You ever been there? I've been there twice. Man, I was the only black dude when I was there. I'm going to tell you that. It was it was crazy. But I just came back from there, man, so it was really cool with the Salt Lake City, you know, the Mormons. It was real fun. Now, I'm glad to be back here in the high desert, man, and having fun with you on your show, man, representing with you, man. Man, I appreciate you. that, Scotty Fig. Now, could you tell the uh, fans out there some of the credits that you've done and some of the places and venues that you also have featured at? I did BET. I did BET. I did coming to the stage on that. I did Showtime at the Apollo in Harlem, New York. I mean, that was, you know, in the beginning of my career, that was something that, you know, it started you off. Once you get that TV time, then things raise from there. Got Bill Bellamy's Who's Got Jokes coming up on the next season. So you want to make sure you watch out for that. You'll see the light skinned brother on there. You know what I mean? I am light skinned. So you'll be able to see that. You can tell by my credit. You can tell. But I will be there. So I've just been, you know, traveling the country, JT, just doing my thing. There you go. Scotty Fig. He's been a little bit humble, but I also heard through, through the grapevine, man, that you did a little writing work for uh, my man, David Messia. Carlos yep. Messina, Carlos I mean, Messina. I'm sorry, Carlos Messina. Yep, Carlos Messina, I wrote a script for him over the, the Messina show back in the days, and now Lopez wants to pick it up. It was a really funny skit, it's about um, Vegas. You ever been out there when them guys, the Mexican Mahato guys, they hang out, they, they hand out the pictures of the naked girls, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. They were hanging out the pictures of the naked girls and so I caught an STD from one of them. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, I can't even know. <laughs> this looked like a little black deal, though. Right, anyway, right. I was out there, man, and we wrote that, where the Mexican dudes was hanging out to the girls, you know? Yeah. And then, so you watched people walk by and, and get the pictures of the girls. And then about 10 feet down, you would see some girls that were half naked and they were handing out pictures of the Mexican dudes. You know what I mean? They were just, the Mojado dudes were sitting there and, they were there and their picture was on the card. So it was real funny. Carlos Messina loved it. Lopez wants it now because he didn't use it because, you know, it's so got canceled. But yeah. Well, Scotty Fig, man, we just thank you for taking the time out to come to bless the stage tonight, y'all. You ready to do your thing tonight? Man, I'm, re I'm ready to have some fun, man. You know what I mean? I'm white. I've been here since 4.30. <laughs> it's already 9.30. So I've been here early. So we got to have some fun tonight. Hey, y'all, you heard it here live for sure, man. You heard it here live, man. It's my man Scotty Fig, ready to put it down tonight. You're going to see him live on stage, but we're going to keep it cracking. Got the fellas on the show. Now we're going to get some of the ladies on the show. These ladies are dear to me. They mean a lot to me. I've worked with these ladies before. First lady I'm going to bring up is my homegirl from way back. She's doing big things, major. Give it for my girl, Trish. Come on, Trish. Hey, what's hey, up, JT. sweetie? Mm. How, How you been, doing, girl? Everybody? I like this mic already. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, she's like, go ahead, take it. It's big and black. Go ahead. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? My name is Trish Gwynn. I'm doing lots of things. I'm, I'm shock value for most shows. Uh, I've worked with JT Smooth for quite a while, worked with all these other comics quite a bit, and it's, I'm blessed to be here, blessed to be doing big things. Uh, catch me on May 13th. 
It was May 13th for uh, the Joe Torrey show up here at Karma's Nightclub in uh, Victorville. It's going to be really fun. I got the Pachanga coming up on August 26th. That's with uh, Bruce Jingles, who's got two Showtime specials. So I'm blessed to be on that show. I also have the Improv on June 17th, which is also with Bruce Jingles, uh, his comedy roast. So I'm having a lot of fun. White people know their schedules, don't they? <laughs> you don't even know. I, I take a lot of drugs to remember that stuff. And I don't forget things on drugs. I remember things on drugs. <laughs> now she's being real odd, real modest. Now you just came off the road and you was chilling with uh, J. Anthony Brown at the J Spot. Didn't you just do that? Oh yeah, I went up in Inglewood. They weren't ready for me, but they, we had a good time. I just want to touch it. I don't know, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, I did the J Spot up in Inglewood. That was very fun. It was uh, Annie McKnight's uh, birthday over there and we just tore that place apart. It wasn't a dry eye in that place. So I was happy. I did proud. I did good. I was happy. Hell yeah. It's taking a long time to get where we are, but we work hard. And hey, we're making it happen, Trish. Mm -hmm. And tonight I'm going to have a good time. I'm yeah, definitely. We open up for Joe Torrey. That'll be at Karma, right? Right. Karma's yeah. nightclub in You'll see us there Cottonwood, Cottonwood and, uh, and Victorville. something in Victorville. Victorville. High desert. High desert. <laughs> it, making it happen. All right, Trish. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For Trish. sure. And definitely last but not least, you know, that's my girl Trish. But we're going to put a little southern flavor in you, if you understand what I'm saying. This next girl coming up is extremely hot right now, and she's doing her thing. So I, with no further ado, and keep the camera on them capes, you understand what I'm saying? Give it up for my girl, Miss Arkansas, representing. <laughs> What's up, girl? How you doing? You better hug oh, me. Oh, I'm blessed and highly flavored. Oh, there you go, girl. How you doing? Now, tell us a little bit. Now, everybody's giving a little intro. Give us a little intro about yourself. Well, once again, I am comedian Miss Arkansas. This is my 20th year of grinding. Now I'm waiting on my check. Mm. But uh, I lead out, leave out in the morning, headed to St. Louis. I have a show in St. Louis. I have two in Arkansas, and I'll be in Kentucky. So look for me in your area soon. Guys, most of you guys came to see her. Very funny. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Arkansas. <laughs> Now, we know what you got coming up. Tell us some of the things that you have done in your 20 years of grinding, girl. Well, I did two live tapings with my boy Ricky Smiley. I did the Bay Area Black Comedy Competition in 09 and this year. Uh, I also have Miss Arkansas 9-11 Comedy Tour that I put together myself, and God is so good. He have added on St. Louis, Kansas City, and Memphis, Tennessee. So I just give him all the praises. Hell yeah, you heard it here live. You gonna perform tonight and do your thing, Miss Arkansas? Yeah, I got the uh, let it all go. I let old school go, so I got the. Uh, that do dude, it. <laughs> that dude, that looked like Frederick Douglass. Yeah, he went to sleep and my camera didn't have my show on it, so you know, <laughs> I had to let him go. I think he looked like Morgan Freeman, really. I don't know who he looked like, but I thank him for that year he gave me at his spot. There you go. Right. Hey, y'all, we got Miss Arkansas, y'all. She's going to be ready to do her thing tonight. Miss Arkansas, we really appreciate your time, girl. Appreciate you, too. All man. right, thank for you. sure. Absolutely, y'all. So keep it cracking, y'all. We got, get yeah, keep it, get keep it, boots. get it. Get Ooh, no, not the boots. She'll get her boots. <laughs> I, if you ain't seen a boot, then hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The boot, yeah. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your boy JT Smooth. Now I just tell you a little credits about me. I got some big things coming up, man. Did some HBO stuff, man. Actually writing for HBO right now, man. God is really blessing me big time, man. Opening up for Joe Torre, Tommy Davidson. We're gonna be in Arizona. I'm gonna be up in the Bay Area. I just got so much stuff cracking right now. God is good, man. But you can hit me up anytime. Hey, I'm still doing the MySpace, man. And I feel bad about that, but I'm still doing the MySpace. MySpace, JT Smooth 24, hit me up. You can see all my stuff that I got cracking. But you know what? Enough is enough. We ready to get the show cracking. Y'all ready to get the show cracking? Oh, you know what we got right now, y'all? We are chilling in Los Domingos, Hesperia, California. 42310, about to make it happen. Kevin Malone, ready to put it down, dude. But if you ever serve dinner at 9 o'clock again, ready to make it happen, y'all. JT Smooth, you've seen the comments. Ready to get down, making it happen. Ugh, and we out. Make some noise for JT Smooth! My son is crazy. He always been a crazy kid, even when he was a little kid. I remember my son in the fourth grade, he came up to me, he was like, Dad, 
I was like, what? He said, I was in gym class and I was changing my clothes. I said, yeah. He said, when I changed my clothes in the fourth grade, he said, I noticed I had the biggest thing in the whole PE class. <laughs> he was like, it's, it's because I'm black. It's because I'm black, huh, huh? I said, no, it's because you're supposed to be in the eighth grade. So like, <laughs> Stay tuned for scenes from the next episode.